In addition to creating an assessment in Nika using the assessment builder, which is where you add questions one by one, you do have the option of using markup text. Uh, and what markup text allows you to do is to use a word processor such as Microsoft Word uh, to create all these questions, which a lot of instructors are currently doing already. Um, but using the markup text will give you the necessary formatting that the questions have to be in so that when you copy and paste it from Word, uh, you don't have issues with um, with um, Nika not being able to read the, qu uh, the questions. So I'm going to call this quiz using markup. Um, and to get to this page, you click on the test and quizzes link uh, from within the, uh, the course site that you're using. Um, and then in, for these two options here, make sure you choose create using markup text and then click on the create button. And so you can see here you've got a couple of, uh, of things you can click around and explore with. Um, underneath the questions uh, area, this is where you're going to actually type in uh, or paste if you're typing them into Word, uh, the correct formatting of the questions. So, you know, let's say I want this to be uh, this question to be question one is going to be do you understand unit one? Um, and my correct answers are going to be yes or no. Um, now, this may or may not be the correct formatting, but in order to find out, what you can do is click on the multiple choice here, for example, because this is a multiple choice question. And there you'll see a um, some additional information pop up below that option. Um, each answer should begin with its appropriate letter in alphabetical order. The correct answer should be prefixed with an asterisk. Okay, and it actually gives you an example of what this should look like. So question one, um, and then in parentheses is how many points is this question worth? So already I have to do a little bit of reformatting here. Uh, so in parentheses I'm going to call this one point. And then on the next line is where you actually have the question listed. So do you understand unit one? Um, there is an additional, there's a line break between the question and the possible answers. And then before each answer, uh, there is the letter uh, pertaining to that. So I'm gonna do letter A is gonna be yes, and letter B is going to be no. The one additional thing is I have to mark which answer is the correct answer. And so um, you do that using the asterisk. So of course, I want the students to understand unit one, so the correct answer is going to be yes. Um, and so from here on, you can continue typing uh, questions uh, below this in this text box. So question two, I could have worth five points. And I'm going to say, uh, what is the um, meaning of life? And this is actually going to be a short answer question. So what I can do is I'm going to close that up and reopen short ans or short essay. And so this is going to be the similar format, the question number with followed by how many points in parentheses, and then explain the purpose of education is the question that they're going to be answering. And it says no answer should be provided. So this is actually the correct formatting for a short answer question. So once I'm done with this, you can keep going as far down as you want, but once you're done, I'm going to choose next and what you'll see is this shows you um, what how Nika interpreted what you put into the into the text box so question one do you understand unit one it is a multiple choice question worth one point and these are the possible answers um, with a being the correct answer and then question two was what is the meaning of life Nika did recognize it as being a short a short essay question worth five points so once that's done, you have the option of taking these and creating a question pool out of them, which allows you to draw from these questions multiple times throughout the term, uh, using them in multiple different assessments if you'd like. Or if you just want to use these questions once in one assessment, I'm going to choose Create Assessment. And so it takes you back to the home page for the Tests and Quizzes tool. Um, I can click on Select Action and choose Edit next to that quiz, where I can see um, the questions that I had imported from the markup text. Um, I can also add additional questions. Um, so, you know, if I wanted to add an additional multiple choice question, I could do that here. And that is the basic gist of how to add uh, questions to a quiz using markup text.